All right, so today we've got The Filter by Nate B 16 It was uploaded by AK Inferno, and he mentions that it's Nate's design. I don't know if there's any shared credit there, so my bad if I mentioned that wrong. But this is Nate's answer to the Nevermore, and there's a couple different versions for the 2.4. It looks like the standard bed and then the Feistech bed. Um, but I'm pretty excited to try it. I'm on my third version of the Nevermore right now. And the problem I keep having is I'm getting like substantial warping with this and I've actually had it already go through a set of fans. And full disclaimer, I'm not using name brand fans. I'm using um, some, some pretty cheap knockoff fans, I'm assuming. Everything off Amazon is a knockoff and that's where I'm getting them. So, um, but there's still a couple merits that uh, I'm pretty excited about trying just from a, a fundamental standpoint. So biggest thing is that the Obviously the, the sizes are pretty similar, but the Nevermore gets mounted under the bed. And this is actually bolted to the frame. And then your filter media is what is magnetically quick, uh, quick detach, if you will. Whereas with the filter, it's got a mount that sits back here and then it uses this magnetic power coupler to actually hold and transfer power to the filter. So the big thing is that when you pull this out from underneath your bed, you're actually gonna be removing the fans, the wiring, and the filter material all in one. Um, I think that's pretty cool just for serviceability and ease of use. And the other thing is that the fans are gonna be pulling air down along the doors and pushing it under the bed as opposed to pulling it in from underneath the limited volume under the bed and then up the panel. So. Um, I did a baseline just before this and I got real similar numbers. I think I was like 35 and a half minutes to get up to 40 degrees. Um, so I'm excited to see what this is going to do. I did make one quick change right off the bat though. Um, I redid one and I just did it with two heat inserts, um, two little holes there, just so that I can actually fasten this thing down a hundred percent and guaranteed, guaranteed no warping. Um, like I said, I was getting that real bad on these. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to try it. So here's our before numbers. My bed does heat pretty slowly and I'm also using the hot end thermistor as a chamber sensor. So that's obviously gonna take a little bit longer to move the needle on. Um, but we ended up at about 36 minutes there. First dip, definitely gonna wanna put that cable through the holder first before you route the cable. And then I noticed that the most recent update has some holes for the fans. They're a little loose. Uh, my model does not have the included holes. And then I also noticed that on the back, the wiring, I don't know what was the intended route here, um, but that little cutout's not enough for two fan wires or two sets of fan wires, I should say. So here we are just using the soldering tool to try and get those soldered up. It did put some heat shrink on the middle power wires. I also double checked it. This is the Ally Express kit. So I did make sure that red is in fact the middle pin and it is. This is just trying to figure out what to do with some of that slack in the cables. And just making a mess out of everything here. Sealing it up with some charcoal. And as expected, it, uh, it falls out pretty liberally. Going back to cutting some of the wire out just to get it to fit a little bit better. The problem, I, th I you have to have enough slack outside to do the soldering and then you push that pogo connector back in and that wire has to go somewhere. And up in that top left corner, you can see that there's an unused section that, that's intended for something and I just, I couldn't figure out exactly what the, the intent was. Maybe you're supposed to make a connection back there and then just run one pair of wire up to the front that I don't know. Haven't figured that out yet. Maybe on version three. But anyways, we get it uh, cleaned up as best as we can and I think that'll work for now. I really didn't want to have to remove the bed just because extra work, but I uh, even with that long ball allen, I couldn't reach in there at that angle and get it. So that was a unfun side quest.
here we are on our second test. Now, I, for whatever reason, it actually took longer to heat up. Um, I did have it packed full of the carbon material. Um, and I did see on the printable site that he mentioned taking the lids off of the fan. So I did want to make sure that the fans were spinning freely, which they were. Um, but I went ahead, removed all the carbon material, uh, reinstalled it, and checked it. And you can see here, like, we're getting real good airflow underneath the bed. Like, it's definitely moving some air. Um, so we'll do one more test without any carbon material in there. And we do get some better results here right at about 31 minutes. So, um, you know, I think it's a compilation of using the Hodden as a chamber sensor, which is going to take a little bit longer to move the needle, and then also using a pretty slow heating bed. It's the 650-watt one from Bindino. Bindino. Um, I think right here, too, you could kind of add like a little angle right there and cut down on some of that dead space just to save the carbon material. I don't know if you're actually getting any airflow. And then, yeah, see, this is where there's something to be used here. I don't know. I should probably reach out and actually see what, what the thought or what the process was there because it looks like you could wrap around backwards on the one side, but then on this side, there's nothing. There's no way to get that wiring back and around. So I'm not necessarily sure there some sort of mesh or grill here, maybe something that you could print flat and then slide into a groove just to keep the material from falling out. I don't think you're really gonna run into that much of a problem once it's installed, but still might be a nice touch. Um, overall, I mean, I really like the design and it's definitely moving air. It's not pushing the air out the doors and yeah, overall I think it's a pretty cool design.